The silver-gray metallic hull paired with a deep blue energy shield made a stunning debut. At the September the 3rd military parade, China's Li-1 shipborne laser weapon system marks a pivotal leap for China in the field of new concept weapons, transitioning from following to leading. On September the 3rd, 2025, at the military parade held at Beijing's Tiananmen Square, the Chinese Navy publicly unveiled the Li-1 shipborne laser weapon system for the first time, dubbed the Blade of Light by foreign media. This system's 300 kilowatt power rating sparked intense discussion among global military observers. In modern naval warfare, anti-ship missiles now breach defenses at speeds exceeding Mach 3, leaving traditional air defense systems facing the dual dilemma of being too costly to engage and impossible to intercept. The Li-1 counters this threat by attacking at the speed of light 300,000 kilometers per second reducing interception time to milliseconds. Test data indicates the system can burn through the seeker head of a Mach 3 target within 5 seconds. Compared to the U.S., Navy's Arla Burke-class destroyers equipped with the 60-kilowatt Helios system, the Li-1 boasts 5 times the power, extending its intercept range from 10 kilometers to 20 kilometers. It can simultaneously counter saturation attacks from drone swarms and hypersonic missiles. This system first appeared in 2019's military report, as a laser close and weapon system under development. By early 2024, the Type 071 dock landing ship Simao featured a newly added retractable semispherical turret structure resembling an oyster shell opening, the shipborne version of the Li-1 laser weapon system. The Li-1 laser weapon operates by directing a highly concentrated, high-energy laser beam to inflict thermal damage on targets. Its core principle involves converting electrical energy into a high-energy laser beam. When the laser beam strikes a target, electrons within the target material absorb the laser energy, colliding violently and converting it into heat. As temperatures within the laser irradiated area rapidly rise, the material melts or vaporizes once temperatures exceed its melting point. For targets like drones, the laser beam can burn through internal circuit boards and their control systems, completely disabling their autonomous capabilities. For certain suicide drones, the laser beam can even detonate their internal explosives, achieving total destruction. Even at lower power levels insufficient to structurally damage targets, the laser beam can render them combat ineffective by targeting their most vulnerable optoelectronic sensors. This flexible attack method grants laser weapons exceptional versatility. The Li-1 boasts impressive technical specifications, with a power output exceeding 300 kilowatts. By comparison, the Helios system deployed on U.S. Navy Arla Burke-class destroyers operates at just 60 kilowatts, a mere one-fifth of the Li-1's capacity. This system can inflict physical damage on the electro-optical sensors of hostile aircraft and vessels beyond 6 kilometers, while also effectively intercepting small to medium-sized aerial targets like drones and missiles. Employing neodymium chromium erbium solid-state gain medium, the Li-1's adaptive optic system, supported by a shipboard-stabilized power supply, can overcome sea fog interference, controlling beam divergence to within 0.3 mili radians. During simulated combat testing, the scenario involved multiple anti-ship missiles maneuvering in a serpentine pattern at three times the speed of sound within a complex electromagnetic environment. Test results showed the Li-1 completed the entire process, from radar target acquisition and laser system lock onto melting the missile's guidance head in just five seconds. More notably, the Li-1 can simultaneously track multiple targets. After a single interception, it requires no reloading and can immediately engage the next target, a decisive capability against saturation attacks. The Li-1's most revolutionary feature is its dual advantage of low cost plus unlimited ammunition, directly addressing the logistical pain point of modern naval warfare. According to naval logistics estimates, the core cost per Li-1 interception is electricity consumption, translating to approximately $1 per shot. In contrast, the U.S. Navy's active duty CRAM anti-aircraft missile costs about $1.2 million per unit, while the improved Sea Sparrow reaches $2 million, a cost disparity of over a millionfold. From a logistics perspective, a destroyer carrying 100 air defense missiles requires about 50 cubic meters of ammunition storage space, with each resupply taking several hours. In contrast, the Li-1's ammunition is the ship's electrical system. As long as the nuclear reactor or gas turbine operates normally, it can sustain continuous power. Military logistics experts aptly describe the difference. Traditional warships fight naval battles while carrying ammunition, whereas vessels equipped with the Li-1 engage in combat while carrying a power generator. Their sustained combat capabilities operate on entirely different dimensions. This cost advantage means the days of shooting down drones costing thousands of dollars 
with missiles costing millions are finally over. The unlimited ammunition capability of laser weapons enables sustained combat operations. As long as power supply is sufficient, the Li-1 can fire continuously, significantly reducing operational costs and logistical burdens. In the development of ship-borne laser weapons, China and the United States have pursued different technological paths. The U.S. initiated its Sea Glow laser weapons program as early as 1977, yet only achieved successful drone interception tests aboard the USS Portland amphibious transport dock in 2020. In contrast, China directly deployed a mature 300-kilowatt class system. U.S. laser weapons employ multi-module power stacking technology, generating several times the heat of China's single laser unit and prone to shutdowns due to overheating in combat. China's Li-1 outperforms currently deployed U.S. systems in size, power, and auxiliary equipment maturity. Leveraging technological advantages in KBBF crystals, a material subject to export restrictions, China has achieved a 50-kilowatt system volume one-third that of comparable U.S. products. The Li-1 employs single-mode technology, utilizing KBBF optimization to generate high-quality single-mode lasers that require minimal focusing, enabling pinpoint accuracy. The U.S. military is also actively advancing 300-kilowatt and higher ship-borne laser systems, though the gap between China and the U.S. in this domain remains relatively narrow. China's strategy is to go all-in from the start, directly developing high-power systems, while the U.S. focuses more on testing and deploying low-power laser weapons. The Li-1 laser weapon system possesses the outstanding advantages of precise destruction and sustained engagement. Together with the HHQ-9C, HQ-16C, and short-range air defense systems, it forms a four-tier maritime air defense coverage system covering long, medium, and short ranges. When enemy missiles breach outer defenses and enter the final intercept window within 10 kilometers, the Li-1 can counterattack at speeds unmatched by conventional missiles, serving as a disruptive element within the defense system. The Li-1 effectively intercepts incoming maritime unmanned systems and can also engage anti-ship missiles. Against swarm attacks by small fast boats, the laser weapon delivers rapid, precise strikes. This system can be deployed not only on naval vessels, but also as a land-based critical area air defense weapon, particularly on South China Sea islands and reefs to counter reconnaissance and provocative actions. The deployment of the Li-1 expands the operational dimensions of weaponry. Beyond hard-kill capabilities like destroying missiles and drones, it can also execute soft-kill operations, temporarily disabling enemy vessels' optical reconnaissance equipment through low-power laser illumination thereby crippling their sensing capabilities. The unveiling of the Li-1 shipborne laser weapon signifies a major breakthrough for China in new concept weaponry, making it the first nation globally to publicly demonstrate a 300-kilowatt shipborne laser system. The advent of laser weapons heralds a transformation in future naval warfare tactics. Their high precision and rapid response capabilities will enhance vessel defense while potentially increasing strike efficiency against enemy ships. As laser weapon power continues to increase, they may eventually be used to destroy satellites, jam enemy electro-optical equipment, and even replace certain offensive missiles. At that point, the offensive-defensive balance in maritime warfare will be fundamentally disrupted. The deployment of the Li-1 has rewritten the rules of area denial. The U.S. Strategic Command assesses that Type 055 destroyers equipped with the Li-1 can compress the effective combat radius of an aircraft carrier strike group to within 800 kilometers. The pace of China's laser weapon development has drawn global attention. The significance of the Li-1 lies not only in China acquiring an advanced weapon, but also in demonstrating its comprehensive capability to transition from technical concepts to operational deployment in the realm of new concept weapons. The Li-1's modular design allows for future upgrades, potentially integrating electromagnetic pulse modules to form optical electromagnetic composite strikes. This laser slicing through the sky represents not only a breakthrough for China's defense industry, but also heralds a profound transformation in future warfare.